The Stanley Cup playoffs are very quickly approaching. Today, Rostislav Nasrov will be playing his final regular season game with the Colorado Avalanche, and we are going to end this season with a bang. Taking a look at the schedule, this is what's going down. Two big games versus San Jose, a game versus the Kings, Ducks, and then we have two of the best teams in the league. I think Edmonton is just below us, sitting at 43, 25, and 9. And the Winnipeg Jets are the number one team in the league. They picked up Evgeny. Kenny Malkin and Johnny Hockey at some point, and they are 47, 24, and 5. Now, the last few episodes have been an absolute disaster. We got kicked out of four straight games, and in the last episode, we didn't score a single goal. The NHL playoffs are all about who gets hot at the right time. If we can take on Edmonton and the Winnipeg Jets and come out with victories, we'll be in a good spot come the playoffs. Rusty and the boys need all the help we can get. Please, just give us a couple wins on this sim and will be golden. Okay, 3-0-W. 4-1-W. Oh, keep the train rolling. 3-2 shootout win. And a 3-2 loss versus the Ducks. Okay, 3-1 and one during the sim. That was sick and much better than expected. Rostislav, do you think you and your team have what it takes to clinch the division? Wait, I didn't think we had a shot, but the Jets might have might have threw a couple games and this could be very interesting. I do not have any doubts that we are going to be Central Division's top team after game 82. I'm not gonna lie, I had I had 100% doubts. This is going to be an exciting end to the season. Reach at least an A on the overall and win the next game. Okay, next game is huge. Oh! Oh my! The Winnipeg Jets, they didn't win a game during that period. We have 103 points with the game versus the Jets as our final game. We win both of these. We lock in the division. We, we might be the best team in the league. Okay, we're behind Carolina, but we could catch them. We could. Oh, this episode just got a whole lot more interesting okay hopping into game number one versus the edmonton oilers let's go okay colorado versus edmonton in ball arena a chance to clinch the division now i think we'd have to win oh no it depends on what winnipeg does we might have to win both of these games to clinch the division so we've got some work to do we are taking this like it is a stanley cup playoff game i'm treating it like game seven also we got the challenge from the reporter Okay, Rusty, slow to get up, but I believe we did get up. Also, we got the challenge from the reporter. We have to get an A grade in this game, which means short shifts, acting like a team player, and not being a complete moron out on the ice. Let's get some goals here, boys. Barry. Okay, Barry, no, no hits from behind, no charges this episode as well. Not going to call for that puck. Yep, beautiful beautiful break in. Let's go, McKinnon. Just go ahead and rip that low. I'll get, I'll get in front for the screen, and we'll just do some work here. Yep. Oh! <laughs> what a tip! Ew. Our first tip goal of the entire season as Rostislav Nashrov plants himself in front of the net. A beautiful... Uh, I was going to say a beautiful backhand. That might be the... The, the biggest muffin of a backhand I've ever seen. I don't even know why he shot that puck, but Rusty was there. A huge first goal for Rostislav Nashrov. 52 points on the season for Rusty. Hey, I told you, all that matters is what team gets hot at the right time. Let's go here. Nursey, go ahead and take a seat. We got numbers here. Let's go, Mac. Let's go, Mac. Yep, top left, top right. Nope. Ah, I changed my mind at the last second. Skinner with a good save. We got to get off the ice here. Ooh, the quest for... Who? Who is Bodens with 56 points? How, how are we in the number one spot if he's got 56 points? Maybe we have more goals. Veneers is down there with 46. Crafts with 38. And Allison with 27. Okay, the call to race is not a gimme for Rusty. I thought it was. All right, you know what? We might not score pretty goals this game. Oh, go ahead, Mac. Go ahead, Mac. Go ahead, Mac. Hit the net, Mac. Dude, we are putting in war. I'm dropping the gloves. Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. Drop him. Connor. Dude, come on. I'm not trying to fight Nurse here. We're trying to take our, their best player out of the game. Oh, you know what? We're going to go for the... We're going for the dodge. I'm going for the headlock here. Dodge. Headlock. Okay, he's not letting me get the headlock action. Dude, we're not We're not landing any point. Oh, 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 oh. We're not landing any. I was gonna say we're not landing any punches, and now we just take down Nursey. And oh, he is. He might. Not, he might not be doing. Oh. <laughs> I have never seen. He couldn't get up. I've never seen that. Darnell Nurse gets rocked so much so that he's down on the ice and struggles to get up. Rusty, let's go. <laughs> 
Dude, of course, Edmonton scores, and we don't touch the ice. It was literally a 10-minute penalty because there wasn't a whistle. We are going to have 19 seconds here. Also, Connor McDavid, why don't you fight your own fights, buddy? Oh, oh, good shot. Hyman. Oh, oh. How is that offside? The puck just kicked around for 30 seconds. How is it off? Three, two, one, and first period comes to an end. All right, this is shaping up to be a battle. We got a near fight with Connor McDavid. I think Nurse is out of the game with the injury that we gave to him, and we scored one of the nastiest tips that we've ever scored. Unfortunately, we are down 2 1, but let's turn this around, keep on moving. Okay, we are taking Connor McDavid out of this game. I think he has two points in this game already, and he still won't drop. Okay, Varley, nice save. Varley does seem to be our starting goalie. I know we were wondering that last episode. It, it, it seems like he is. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. What a play. Bop, bop, bang. A little tic-tac-toe. And Ranton is there on the back door. Let's go, boys. All right. Hey, we're playing with a little fire this game, playing with a little anger. Connor McDavid, you're not the best player in the NHL anymore. You know who is? Rostislav Nashrov. This literally could be like a 5-5 kind of game. Ooh, Drysaddle's been a little bit quiet this game as well. I know we're getting angry at McDavid, but maybe Drysaddle's the one that we kind of have to get into. <sighs> Slow to get up again, dude. I, I need to get off the ice. Again, we're playing for our grade here. We're playing to stay healthy. We can't get injured before playoffs, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get in here. Dump, dump this. Dump this puck. Dump, dump. Dump the puck low. Jeez, I'm just grinding to dump this puck out. Okay, this game is going by so fast, dude. We got to make something happen every time that we're on the ice. Let's get that back to Mac. Yep. Mac, we can't be having those mistakes, dude. We are playoff ready here. No pens here. Boom. <laughs> no pens here. As I do. Oh, they got four guys on the ground right now. Rusty, B-Way. Oh, I thought I was going to get absolutely rocked there. Dude, this is one of the most violent hockey games that we have had all season long. Brandon, beautiful feed. We're going to go. Spino! <gasps> if that would have went in, nastiest goal of Rusty's career by far. What an effort. The diving shot attempt after the Spino. Coach, give me one more shift this period. We do not, but we are... We are on a five on four power play and it might be a full two minutes here to start the third period. I know Rusty's on line two, so we're not going to get out there right away, but we should get some power play minutes, a chance to get a third. Coach is starting PP2 out here. So it's me, Bergy, and Smitty out here together. Smitty, let's do something special here, Smitty. Between the legs. Okay, I'm trying to do too much. Trying to do too much. <gasps> McDavid, take a seat, buddy. Ah! <gasps> he just hit me with no... He just swiped the puck out of the zone. Dude, that's like a couple crazy things that I've never seen. McDavid, what a play. That was sick. Okay, maybe maybe we're taking a little bit too much time here. Let's go a little between the legs. Rusty. <gasps> Rusty. That so close, man. So close. Okay, the short shifts do seem to be helping. We're starting to hit the ice. Oh my. How have we not injured somebody yet, dude? I'm getting injured every single time I, I get touched. The lightest bump from behind, and my guy's out for the season. And we're laying the biggest hits that this world has ever seen. Okay, the bad news is we use literally all of our energy to try to destroy their team. And we are going to have to get off the ice early here. So quick shift, but uh, that, that's a bad change from Rusty, okay? We just walked right by that guy. And Connor McDavid again, dude. Literally one. We're going to lose to one player. One player. We've got Rostislav Nastrov, and we're going to lose to one player. Let's go here, boys. Me, McKinnon, Ranton, and need to set the tone. Nope. Good feed. Hold up here. A little spin up. Try to fire that low. Dude, I just got that, that light bump. Man, I'm telling you, it kills me. Bop. Three minutes. I kind of want to get off the ice and just take a shorty so that we can get out for the last shift of the game. But you know what? We're just going to stay out here a little longer. Go. Let's end this thing. Let's end this thing right now. Rusty with wheels. <gasps> Rusty with wheels. Yep. Back door. <gasps> Brandon, you legend. Let's go. We are winning this game. I am not losing to Connor McDavid. This is a battle of the ages right here. As Rantanen goes back door, we find the feed nice and clean. We get a goal. The game time goal. Let's go here, Rant. Let's go. <sighs> nice finish there. Ooh. 
our overall right now an a minus we need to get up to an a i don't think an a minus is gonna count so we kind of need this last goal this is huge three three please get me back out there okay you know what we're going to ot i thought coach was gonna give us the last 30 seconds of the game he does not but now we have a chance to be the ot hero and we are finally scoring some goals i don't want to go to a shootout we know that uh you know our team is not the greatest when it comes to shootouts as we saw in the last one we also do not want to have to go up against mcdavid and dry saddle in the shootout <sighs> nothing I nice save, Arlie. Nice save, baby. Okay, it's taking me so long to get back. I'm playing defense for Kale here as he decided to step up. And Dre Settle, you're going to go ahead and take the... There's just no way. There's no way over time of a central division clinch that I am going to have to take on a scrub in a fight dude go ahead and take a seat barry and never i don't want you ever to touch the ice again now we have to watch the game from the penalty box hope that the abs can get the job done and hope that this game can go to a shootout so we get one last chance kind of sick joke is this dude come on barry here we go boys all we can do is sit back and watch we got to trust our teammates here comes here comes kale hold up uh, sir i can't see sir sit down dude your head is in my entire frame and we have another fight as uh bergeron is dropping the club dude come on we have no good players left i mean okay we have we have mckinnon and mccarr but i think mccarr was the one that just got hit there he might be injured i don't dude i don't know what's happening anymore bergy might have just he he literally might have just murdered a man okay bergy hey big ups big ups Connor mcdavid b way ggs Farley! Farley! Oh my goodness! I accept the defeat there. Hold up. Oh, little two on one. Two on one. Game. 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 I nice save. Oh, we just got a power play. We we just got a power play in OT. Oh baby. Yo, this is this is getting interesting. Dude, I wish that Rusty could be out there with the boys right now. Unfortunately, I gotta watch it from here, dude, with this guy standing up and getting in my way. Okay, last rush of the game here in OT. 18 seconds left. Will the boys get the job done? No, oh, they oh, oh, no, they will not. Please, no, no goal against. Please, no goal against. Nice hit. We are gonna get one last rush, actually. Oh! oh here we go, B way! 2 0! And he just missed. He missed the net. He missed the net on a 2 on 0. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, it is time for the shootout. Connor McDavid up first. Varley with a big save. That's two breakaways in a row that Varley has made on Connor McDavid. And Rostislav Nashrov up first. We're going behind the back. We're going to Kyle Turris. We're taking it to the back end. We are finally scoring a goal. Let's go, Rusty. There's one. We've been struggling in the shootout, so I just, I needed to get one. I needed to get one. A nice set of moves. We got in the goalie's head. We buried on the back end. That could be the winner. Barley, save these two. Barley, dude, you, you should be able to read him like a book. There's nowhere else that he could go but there. And he finds it on the short side. Come on, Barley. Cam McCarr goes for a one hand, misses, and they almost poke checked it into their own net. Did not, though. Big save, big save, big save. You gotta be kidding me, dude. How can we not win in a shootout? Nate, is it gonna be Nate McKinnon? It is Nate McKinnon. Chance to tie it up. Nate Mack? It's Rob. And another loss at home in, in the biggest game of the season going into the playoffs. Rusty did everything that we could do. As Skinner. What is that celly, dude? Every single goalie that we've been playing against has hit us with the hardest celly of all time. As Skinner comes in with the save. Rusty, the only one able to score in the shootout. And just like that, it's over. This next game could mean clinching the central division. What else do you want from me there, coach? Like, at some point, we got, we got to start talking to the other guys on the team. I gave it my all. I fought when I needed to. Three points, a goal, two assists. We got an A-plus overall. And we lose lose the game let's take a look at the standings here and see what happened to the winnipeg jets hopefully they took the l as well and they did okay the colorado avalanche have clinched the conference with 104 points winnipeg sitting at 101 the most they can get is 103 but this is still a huge huge game looking at the entire league the colorado avalanche are two points back on the carolina hurricanes we could still get the president trophy if we win carolina loses and we have to win probably Probably in regulation as well. Okay, so we know what we have to do in this game. We're taking on the Winnipeg Jets. They're, they're probably the best 
teams in terms of player overalls in this game and we have got to get this w no more messing around this is stanley cup playoffs game seven i treated last game like stanley cup playoffs game seven but the rest of my team unfortunately did not hopefully we can get the boys going in this game let's come out here with the dub let's get this job done and grab that president's trophy what does the reporter have to say you played a good game but you did not get the win what can you say about the outcome when your team plays with that much intensity you aren't going to lose many we played with that much intensity we just lost dude why can't i just roast my teammates there that's all on my teammates i did what i could but come on here okay final game of the regular season potential still at the president's trophy we're taking on the winnipeg jets they've got 48 wins we have 46 i'm telling you this race is tight we are lucky that we have so many ot points wins or losses it all comes down to this i would consider i would consider the jets our rivals so far uh in this in this via pro series as these boys <laughs> they've got one of the best oh they've got one of the best teams in the league right now but it doesn't matter because we're the, we are we are they have klingberg as well dude what happened to this team also klingberg we just rocked his helmet off of him they got kyle connor klingberg they've got malkin in there dude this this is without a doubt the best team in the league okay shorter shifts shorter shifts we're gonna go one more rush Randon, nice feed Randon, nice feed take it in rusty rusty's in the net oh no I'm, I might not be able to get out here. I can't get out. Okay, we got out. Holy, that was a mess. Okay, a booming hit. A little bit scary there. We're going to take shorter shifts here. Much shorter shifts. We'll hop off with yellow. Be good. Coach! Hello? A 2-2 hockey game and we've been benched? All I did that shift was lay out every single good player on their team. And I get benched the entirety of the period? Like, what just happened? The last game of the season and we're getting benched. After what we did last game. After what we did to start this game. Benched. Coach, this is a joke. I mean, we do have to give it up for the rest of the team. I know we kind of roasted them after the last game. They are, at the very least, putting in some work. So it is a 2-2 hockey game. We're going to come down. No more turnovers. I think, dude, I was trying to get on coach's good side by taking short shifts and this is what how we get repaid be me mac be me mac look me off mac that's fine back door oh, what a save good look there rant we're gonna put the four check on mcmalkin here okay i'm gonna take i'm gonna take a bit of a longer shift just in case the same thing happens again we got to make sure that we get our minutes in can a nice feed uh we're just gonna step top oh yep. try to get that shot through try to get that shot through rant good opportunity the boys are buzzing right now okay we don't have a ton of energy left let's be careful feed me feed me back up yep the boys look at this boys we are all over this team right now right down to me yep nothing there i don't want to get hit i don't want to get hit i'm playing a little bit scared right now but we're not getting kicked out of our, our last game of the season we'll hop off the ice we literally played eight minutes of the period but that's fine and kyle connor buries it as we jump off the ice i still think that was the right play for me to get off the ice there i know it was a bit of a marshawn change you know you don't you don't want to see something like that happen but we put in work that shift we keep that rolling we will score some goals here guaranteed we are on the ice here for the last what 20 seconds of the period hold <gasps> gerard gerard what a feed hold up three Press you. two one dude what a save I, i'm not gonna lie I, I don't think i got all of that i was aiming top left corner and i think as we pulled it back he barely caught a piece of it so we were looking for top left ended up getting robbed top right a good shot from rusty to end the period though all right, let's go here Avs. let's let's show these boys what we can do this is for the potential president's trophy no more messing around i nice save barley Nice save, Barley. Way to be. Should not have called for that puck. That, that's on me. That's on me. Okay, coach is coming to talk to us. Yeah, coach, how about you give me some minutes and I'll consider going out there and scoring a goal. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Coach is roasting. Rusty's kind of roasting coach a little bit on the bench. You'll love to see it, Russ. Let's go. Biggest game of the season, boys. Biggest game of the season. Let's go. We're just going to stay a little bit lower here. Not let that get through. I kind of want, I kind of want to give the boys the chance to make a play and then we get a quick break yep, take a seat dude i want malkin out of here all right malkin's kind of malkin's kind of taking <laughs> they called that in the biggest game of our career thus far they called that rusty takes a little run what two steps max watch this we're not even we're not even taking strides we're gliding into them along the boards a clean hit is apparently not allowed anymore if it's big it's not clean all i ask is no goals against okay no goals against we're good we're getting back on the ice they might still have a power play though this could be bad they're playing the time and just kind of ragging this a little bit we have not touched the puck in a minute bergy okay we do touch the puck hella bucking net dude is absolutely locked oh what a feed yep bang bang nothing there nothing there 
Okay, coach is saying we do need a goal. I kind of want to stay out here for a second, but I also don't want to make coach angry. I want to get the last shift of the game. Here we go, Rusty with wheels. We're going to go for... Okay, I'll, I'll take that. We got rocked. I'll take that. That's fine. That's fine. Got to get off the ice, though. Okay, we're going to trust coach to give us one last shift here. Seven, seven and a half minutes left. Let's see what happens. Okay. Coach is starting to trust this first line. We are getting out there instantly. We have no energy, and coach is still throwing us out there. This is just an injury waiting to happen. It's Kale. Takes it in. A little late on that hit, though, Ehlers, huh? Yeah, good poke. Let's go here. Uh, I'm going to get, ro get rocked, so I'm going to get it over to McKinnon, and we're going to go low for him. Mac, you just got to get that puck low. I don't care what you do. You have to get that low. Okay, a chance to be the hero. Season on the line. Dude, McKinnon is throwing. McKinnon, feed me the puck or just, just do something with it. Anything. I'm not getting off the ice, boys. I'm not getting off the ice. This is what big players do. Let's go. McKinnon again. His, his fourth turnover of the shift, dude. What is happening, Mac? What happened to you? Playoff McKinnon's supposed to be the best guy. <gasps> okay, me, Bergy. Me, Bergy, Smitty. I'm not getting off the ice. Smitty, Smitty. Smitty, Smitty, what are we doing? 30 seconds left. I'm getting low. Yep. We literally might lose like our last six games of the season. We have 20 seconds to turn this around. I know Rusty doesn't have energy left, but we don't need energy. We're going to cherry pick a little bit. We just have to get this puck off their stick. We do. No, we don't. Yep. And of course, I try to force the pass. We don't get it. And with eight seconds left, we're going to have to watch from the bench. Wow. This is devastating. Eight seconds. Will we get a rush up the ice? No, we will not. And just like that, the season ends with a goal against with 0.1 seconds on the clock from Johnny Hockey. This this could not this could not have went any worse than it went. We all, not only did we get benched for a majority of the first and second period, we didn't make any plays out here. We had no points. We got robbed again and again, and we gave the Winnipeg Jets confidence going into the playoffs. Good news is, in the playoffs, anything can happen. I know we said it's all about who gets hot at the right time, but realistically any team can win on any given night we go on a little run we get the job done that was very unfortunate though um rusty gave it his all game game one and game two versus edmonton and winnipeg but unfortunately sometimes you give it your all and it's still not enough tonight was one of those nights good game to the winnipeg jets they are certainly our rivals going into the playoffs and we'll see who we match up against in the upcoming playoffs coach isn't happy the team's not happy. I mean, we got it. We have to chirp Nathan McKinnon. That one shift, I'm not going to forget it. Almost, I'd rather have Bergey on my line than McKinnon after what he did. Four turnovers in one shift. I try to trust him with the puck. And what did he do? He turned it over each and every play. Like, when you need your big players to show up, Nathan McKinnon's supposed to be the guy, and it just didn't happen tonight. Dead quiet. Walking into the locker room. Dead quiet. Rusty ends the season with 54 total points but a big goose egg in our last game and there we have it the regular season has ended taking a look at the colorado avalanche and their final point totals nathan mckinnon leads the charge with 81 points but he does nothing in the final game we got Rantan with 72 bursey with 70 landis with 65 kale with 56 smitty with 55 and rostislav nashrov down there with 54 total points it's not bad but it could have been better could have been better i know it's not the end that we wanted to the regular season but that's okay all right stanley cup playoffs coming up next episode we will find out who we are matched against who we are taking up in round one and most importantly if we will be seeing the winnipeg jets in the conference finals full bracket reveal next episode i hope you guys did enjoy this one i know it's a tough l but we did what we can do if you are enjoying be a pro with rostislav nashrov and you're fired up for the playoffs to come hit the video with a like to let me know hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 million subscribers and that is it for this one i'll see you guys next time and peace